Hello dear Sagis and welcome to your August 2024, second half of August 2024 readings with me. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. So let's get to see the cards for Sagis Sun, Moon and Rising for the third week of August. Wow, you're going to be lucky. You're going to be lucky as far as your finances are concerned, my dear Sagis. For some of the Sagis, it is the luck, the energy of money coming in for some of you though it's the energy that means expenditures okay so if you're getting money my dear sages please make sure that you don't uh, overspend or don't be extravagant in your spendings my dear sages because what is going to happen is that now that we are going towards the crash big crash that is coming in uh, you need some money on the side right yeah so that you can be comfortable. So I would like to tell you that if you really want to invest with all the money that is coming in, go for the gold. All right. And that is not, the gold never disappoints. All right. So I would like to tell you that be careful over here in the third week because I see money energy is wonderful. You might get a bonus, you might get a gift check, you might get, a, you know, a relative uh, extending monetary, uh, you know, add to you. Somebody is being generous in your family and is giving you money. So just use it carefully or rather I would say not use it but spend it carefully. All right, my dear Sajis. And I also see that um, you need to be careful uh, when it comes to your belongings, your material belongings, okay? Just take good care of your material belongings because there can be a loss of uh, material belongings also in the first week. So just be careful. But otherwise I see a path of uh, flourishing and prosperity is opening in front of you. Now, well, a path is opening, but are you ready to walk that path? Okay, because what happens is that sometimes I get, uh, <laughs> sometimes I get uh, commands like, uh, but you said like this, but it didn't happen. Excuse me, but this is a guideline. This is a general reading. Okay. And what happens is that if the guideline is given, but if you don't do anything about it, what's going to happen? Nothing is going to happen. If I am, you know, if I, I, I am being told that, oh, well, you are going to, you know, pass this university exam and this and that. And I'm like, wow, yes, I'm going to pass. Yes, I've heard the tarot reader. I've heard the astrologer saying that and blah, blah, blah and everything. And then afterwards I'll say, oh, as it is, I'm going to pass. And what happens is that I am not doing anything to help that. Yeah, the energies are very positive. But what am I doing with it? Nothing I'm doing. I'm just sitting and I'm just, you know, daydreaming that, oh, it can happen. Oh, it can happen, you know. But no, we also need to put in efforts for that thing to happen. All right. It's like, for example... If I'm just sitting over here and somebody says, oh, if you have a car travel, you are going to have a problem, okay? But if I'm just sitting here, if I'm not going well, nothing's going to happen, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm giving you both sides of the story, okay? Both two examples like this, a bit extreme. So just be careful of how you deal with it. This path of flourishing, prosperity is opening in front of you. There will be opportunities that will be coming in for you, my dear Sagis. So you need to grab them, you need to take them and you need to make it work for your best. As it is, Sagis are lucky people. You have the lady luck always upon you. So you need to be careful of how you use this luck. If you don't use it well, well, what happens? Somebody else takes the opportunity, okay? So just be careful with that, my dear Sagis. And also I would like to tell my Sagi students is that there is a, a success energy for you. So whatever you do, you do it with full grit and determination, okay? It's like I told you, you just sit, oh, I'm going to pass, oh, I'm going to get this now. Yes, the energies are good, so I'm going to put in more efforts also to make it work also. Okay, my dear Sagis. And then we go to the last week of August. You are busy, busy, busy. Lot of movement energy is seen in the last week for you, my dear Sagis. You are moving in. You're moving to different, different places. A lot of short distance, long distance travels are seen. It's for work, it's for education, it's for some seminars, it's for some workshops. I see a lot of communication, a lot of networking happening. 
in the in the last week of august my dear sadris thanks to your communication skills you will be able to convince people uh, to see things your way to your higher ups will be um, impressed by your convincing skills also even your uh, my dear sadji students for your teachers also you will be able to express so well you will be able to communicate in a very uh, convincing way negotiations also with your higher ups in the companies my dear sadjis will be very very good and you can achieve what you want through your communication skills in the last week is what i see i see lot of work for you also and i also see the resolution to problems for some of the sadjis. if you have been having any kind of communication problem resolution to problems of heart problems of um, i mean heart in the sense of course your own heart your physical heart but at the same time your relationships also emotional problems your problems regarding money matters your problems regarding your job some of the things are going to get sorted out but provided again provided you take the first steps you do the communication you be that convincing sage okay because you have the arch and the bow and you have to know when to strike okay this is what i can tell you my dear sage is for the last week also i see that there can be uh, some of your uh, how can i say hmm, colleagues or friends who might be a bit uh, you know uh, misinterpreting what you are trying to tell them also because they won't be in the right state of mind so make sure your communication is very very clear and you don't confuse things uh, by entering into their confusions just be clear and just be uh, how can i say clean and clear okay because when things are clean and clear what happens is that the the message is delivered in the right way to the right people all right so no uh, getting into any kind of you know beating about the bush to 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 reach to the point i would say all right so that's what i have for you and yes in the last week some of the sages uh, can have some problems with tools machines so if you're driving be careful if you're using some sharp tools also be very very careful and um around your house also with your electronic items uh, with your computer electronic gadgets just be very careful because there can be some problems here in the last week okay just be careful with that but otherwise i see a wonderful beautiful last week of august for you my dear sagis and get prepared because there's a lot of movement for you dynamism is in the air okay so thank you if you're wondering how to manifest i have a special manifestation course for you it's the step wise guidance towards manifesting your dreams i have been doing that and i got almost 98% of my manifestation list has been fulfilled so come join in it's a wonderful wonderful course and many people have availed on it and are reaping its benefits i invite you to enroll yourself to this course and you will find it on my website i'm going to give the link below in the description box okay so thank you my dear sages for listening please do like share and comment and i shall see you next month until then take good care of yourself bye bye god bless bye